Hey everyone, it's VDX. Today I want to talk to you about arguably the most optimal Noctis player in the world. Now, there are tournament players, there are like Tekken players who play Noctis, um, and then there are the character specialists, right? Monodog from Germany is one of those specialists. He, we don't get to see him as often because, you know, he's still in school, he's pretty young, so he doesn't get to go to majors and things like that. But the way he approaches this character is so specialized he is not content with accepting the very simple simple character we've been given right you don't you don't got a lot of advanced combo routes there's not a lot of variation there's not a lot of unique things to try noctis is pretty bread and butter you just do what they gave you and you can succeed he is not content to do that let me show it in this clip he's playing ao richie from the uk top player in the world undebatably now this combo isn't the important part what's important is to look at this situation okay your back is to the wall, you have something like 70 HP left, right? So you're not going to die immediately to any threat. A mid will probably wall splat you and put you into lethal, like rage mode, 1 HP. You can take maybe 3 to 4 power lows. Noctis doesn't have power lows, so you're probably taking like 5, right? 5 down by 3s or something. Momodog takes the frame advantage, and now look at the situation, right? Mid or low, we have to guess. Maybe we can counter hit him, but it looks like AOG is going to defend. Demo man hits. Okay, you get a little wall splat, so he's going to get a little extra combo, but we'll still have another guess at the end of this. Peels him off the wall. Hold on. Wall splat, and it killed. Look at how much HP he had. That killed off of one low. You don't even see, like, Kazuya doing that. You know, the, the hell sweep. That, that is the move. That's that move, right? Let's watch it again. Plus frames, sidestep left, demo man, resplat. He walks to the left towards the screen to get this peel off. Down 2-2. Two, two. Knows just how many 2-2 two, two hits. He does 4. Gets a clean wall splat again. Full kill combo off of that. Now, I want to show context. Like, not only is that ridiculous, right? Like, crazy capability for a character to have. But nobody has been doing that. Let me show you what Noctis normally does. And you might see why this is so incredible. Like, to discover this and go about it uh, and you know, make these innovations is absolutely insane. So Demo Man is a lot like Paul's. It's a it's a launch punishable low if they block it, but it also knocks down if you commit to the string and you're standing close enough. It's called a clean hit. So um, if you just do the clean hit Demo Man, you get 40 damage. If you get the just frame, 42 damage. Okay, nothing crazy. Now you saw a little optimization that people who main Noctis will usually see is you do the first two hits. If it wall splats, then you do another demo man. You don't really have time to confirm it. You're just guessing based on the spacing. Like, hey, this is a good distance from the wall. I'm going to only do the first two hits. The string isn't like delayable or anything. But there you go. 54 damage off of the like specialist demo man where you see that it's going to wall splat and you just go for that. Momodog didn't stop there. And this is what's absolutely incredible. Let me pull up a clip. I would do these combos live if I could, but they're pretty difficult to do, at least consistently. Uh, without a lot of practice and even though he has found these really hard combos he's found a way to do them so consistently and that's another incredible part of him as a player so i'm going to demonstrate here the one of the resplats that momodog pioneered i don't think he was the inventor of it but he's the one to make it really popular especially with all of his performance in eu so at this wall splat angle where leo's left hand is still coming off the wall a bit so you get the clean back splat but they're angled right? It's not the same. It's not a side wall splat, but it's an angled wall splat. What Momodog usually does is down back one, one plus two, and you see it re-splats on the wall again, right? Oh, that was a messed up take. Hold up. See, even I can't do it in the, in the clip. He re-splats twice, and then he does a while standing one, two. Let's watch the clip one more time. He does down back one, one plus two. Oh, hold up. <laughs> down back one, one plus two. Side steps right to kind of realign again. Down back one, one plus two, while standing one, two. And that total damage is 64. Really solid damage. He took a 42 damage, like this is a knockdown low, into a 64 damage optimization. Um, but in coming up with that, he ran into some problems. So the demo man isn't always consistent like that. One of the problems is that with not a lot of wall hits, sorry, not the demo man, the dancing, dancing edge, down back one, one plus two, is not always consistent in how it resplats. If you watch Noctis here, Demo Man, we've seen this. Usually, this should resplat and hit the wall, especially after you've got a lot of combo hits and they kind of go flying. But in this case, 
because there's not many combo hits, just the first two hits of Demo Man, they're in the air. Leo never hits the wall again. So the adjustment is to do down 2-2. Two, two. Now Leo gets wall splatted. But if you try to combo off this, Leo falls down quickly. I'm going to run it one more time at full speed. So he tries the resplat. This is me trying it. Try the wall combo, and they slump too fast. You don't get your ender. And at 55 damage here, you're not really gaining anything compared to the regular combo where if you just do the first two hits and then demo man again you get 54. so you're risking a lot because you don't know how the combo is going to end and if you miss the ender you don't really gain that much damage and you lose the advantageous uh wake up situation now the the important detail that momo dog noticed in this situation is where the wall hit was getting lost so normally you get three wall hits before they slump down really quickly now watch this i'm going to go frame by frame here when you do down back one, one plus two, it's the second hit that triggers a wall splat. Look at Leo's character. Very briefly, they're wall splatted, and you can see wall hit coming here on the left. All right, so even though, even though Leo goes into the air like that, there is a brief situation where the wall hit is being triggered. And this triggering of the wall hit is what makes the combo mess up. You don't get that ender because they slump down too fast. Now, this should be noted that this is a clip of kind of salvaging it, where, like, if you notice that you're not getting the clean peel off, you can adjust it and still get a good amount of damage. Um, what it comes out to be with all these extra wall hits ends up being 63. So, again, if you just do the regular Dancing Edge resplat, you get 64 damage. If you get the weird peel off and you don't know if it's going to work or not, you get 63. Still, a decent amount of damage. Momo Dog is not satisfied. This is the final form of his peel-off combo. And it's not even fully optimized because it's me doing it, right? So look at this. He walks super far to the left, as far left as you can go before they slump all the way down. In his video, he gets a clean walk because he's really aware of the timings. This is me just learning it, so I kind of do a short step here, right? I'll do a short step demo man and then a short step dancing edge. This peels him off the wall, and if you do it properly, if you do it properly cleanly enough... Let's go frame by frame again. There's no wall hit. The wall hit on the screen is from the previous hit, but here it doesn't trigger a new one. That allows you to down to two, and then when you get to the wall, I messed up there. <laughs> Here's the good take. Clean peel off, and when you get to the wall, they splat, and you get all three hits like that. That's the same combo he did in the video, 70 damage. So he squeezed out an extra six damage off of the normal demo man route. We can go even further. This is probably a more feasible way of doing it. Um, and I found this method a bit more consistent. Now, it's not a giant change. It's still the same thing. But just like in this clip, I'm looking for 2-2-2, two, 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 either three or four hits, and try and guess where the wall is. And when you get this wall, if they're splatted cleanly on their back, even though this is a ridiculous angle, you can hit a full demo man. And that hits 72 damage. This isn't even max damage. If you were to do a different filler before the wall splat, so here I did 2-2-2-2, two, 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 two. Noctis can still do something like down forward 4-2 or 1 plus 2 um, to get even more damage out of it. So like maybe it would be something like this as the filler or this. Um, if you pick either of those options, it can go up to 77 damage, right? If you get this, this is the most damage. So the simplest character in the game, debatably, Normally gets a 42 damage, like a uh, wall combo, right? Off of a low, right? A knockdown, unseeable low for 42 damage. Momo Dog, with his optimization, turned it into an unseeable 77 damage low. If that's not absolutely insane, I don't know what to tell you. So, um, I've been friends with Momo Dog for a few years at this point. I thought he didn't get enough credit in his stuff. So his optimizations often go unseen, and because I'm not a strong enough player yet, I can't really demonstrate it. But I wanted you guys to see how nasty this guy actually is. So if, if again, he's, he's a student, so he's not really free all the time, but if you get the chance to watch him, it's definitely worth checking him out. This is his Twitch, Momodog underscore. That's it. I gotta tell him he's gotta change that. <laughs> but he puts out combo videos on YouTube. Um, he's live on Twitch now and then, and uh, you'll learn a lot, especially if you're playing Noctis. But even if you're not playing Noctis, he makes the character look even stupider than he already is. And this is at, like, high-level Tekken. This is where they're not falling for the down back 1 plus 2 spears, right? Like, at that level, they're not falling for this as much. They're reacting. They can fuzzy guard this so that's not hitting them. 
Momodog is playing off of the unseeable stuff and turning in these crazy conversions that you would think are not possible. Like, nobody thought, hey, what if I do this and this peels them off? What if I find the wall splat here and then get an even longer combo? See, I messed it up and I got 57 damage, right? Momodog is so intimate, intimately aware of what the stages are shaped like and how they work. So he can find the clean spot here and get like a 70 damage demo man. Dude is absolutely nasty. Check out his content. If you liked this video, please give me a like and a subscribe. That was great. Uh, leave a comment if you have a question on something I didn't answer. I hope this kind of stuff is helpful. I really wanted to highlight this player from the EU. In my eyes, he is the most optimal player that pilots Noctis. If he were to get more experience offline, if he were able to travel more, if he were able to, you know, just compete with like the Tekken players, he would be absolutely disgusting. Top class in the world. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.